It was a brand new concept to start with paper airplanes. We wanted to find a way to engage the kids um, and get them excited about science. Teach them a little bit about the scientific process, but mostly just get them to buy in and get excited about learning about science. The first day there was definitely some hesitation about why are we building paper airplanes? Um, and them having to work in teams was also a struggle for many of them. But as we continued to revise our plan and rebuild and um, make improvements, they got so excited. And by the end, everybody was cheering for everyone. And it was a great team building exercise as well. The first step, you're supposed to come up with a design for your paper airplane and talk to your group about what you want to build and how to build it. The second step, is you go ahead and build your design. We tried to make um, our paper airplane uh, the nose, which is the front of the airplane, like as pointy so it'd go through the air better, and we made it pretty pointy, so we called our um, airplane needle nose. We get to fold the paper airplanes, and it's fun because we get to see who can throw the farthest and how the designs work and stuff. You learn something out of it, and it's also a fun activity. Like when you're diving into the water and you put your hands out, it kind of like parts the water for you. And so if you make like the nose sharp like that, then it'll, it'll like cut through the air better. Yeah, I mean with it, like it's kind of like the smaller it is, it, it glides more through the air. I like science. It was fun. I very much see that this is a year-to-year -year thing. The kids enjoyed it so much and they're still talking about it and I've had kids come back after a long weekend with research different ideas to build more planes. Um, I think we will definitely make some tweaks to continue to just get kids more excited and branch in some different topics from throughout the year, but I think it was a success. And it's also so cool in activities like this to see students that maybe don't succeed in written activities or don't succeed in um, your more traditional education realms, but a hands-on activity like building airplanes, they're so excited about. And that's cool to see that side of them, especially so early on. 